everyone, if you're dealing with Steam error code E20, don't worry, I've got a step-by-step -step guide to fix it by the end of this video, your Steam should be up and running smoothly. Let's dive in. First, head to the search bar and type in Task Manager, then open it. In the Task Manager window, go to the Details tab and scroll down until you find Steam-related processes. Right-click on each Steam process and select End Task. Make sure no Steam processes are running in the background before moving on to the next step. Now, type Steam in the search bar. Right-click on the Steam app, then select Open File Location. Once you're in the folder, right-click on Steam again, and select Open File Location one more time. Locate the Steam executable, X file, right-click on it, and select Properties. In the Properties window, go to the Compatibility tab and check the box that says Run this program as an administrator. Click OK to save your changes. Next, type Network Connections in the search bar and open it. Locate your active network connection, Wi-Fi or Ethernet, right-click on it and select Properties. In the list, double-click on Internet Protocol Version 4, TCP IPv4. Select Use the following DNS server addresses and enter these values. Preferred DNS 8.8.8.8 Alternate DNS 8.8.4.4 Click OK to save and exit. Now search for CMD in the search bar. Right-click on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. In the Command Prompt window, type the following command, ipconfig, flush DNS hit enter and it will clear your DNS cache. Then restart your PC to apply the changes. Step 5. Clear the Steam app cache. After your PC restarts, type percent tap data percent into the search bar and hit enter. In the folder that opens, look for the Steam folder. Once you find it, delete the entire folder to clear any corrupted cache. Restart your computer one more time, and that's it. After completing these steps, Steam should be working without any issues. If this video helped, please drop a like and subscribe for more quick fixes. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.